Hello everyone, this is Prashant. Welcome to my channel. So we are in a Playwright series. Uh, today we are going to now see the advanced topic of uh, uh, basic web automation is actions. So there are two kinds of actions in real life. In your, if you are in the instance of laptop, you can see one is keyboard action, another is mouse actions. If you take a mouse means what are the actions like clicking, double clicking, right clicking, drag and drop, hover it. So these are the mouse actions. In keyboard you can use letters, special characters, up and down, round down, what are the key buttons you are seeing in your systems. Those are all its kind of keyboard actions. So there are two kind of actions. Today we are going to see each one of them slowly. Okay, let's, let's start. So before that I will give us a small heads up from the hover method. Anyone knows? Not a problem. The hover method is when you keep a cursor on any option, see this, this drop down is coming. When I move this cursor, move the, like mouse, when I move this, the drop down is collapsed. So this option is called the hover method, H-O-V-E-R, hover method. Okay. So this is one of our mouse actions. So I am going to create a new python file, right click on your project, click on new, go to python file, this is actions demo. In this as usual, I am going to do a, you guys know, whomever is following the entire series, these four lines are we are using on all the times. You know, I am getting arrow, forgetting sometimes. <laughs> Which, you know, I you am know, just, I am also reading only with you guys. Okay. SP. So, first, what is the first line? Browser. Right. We need a Chromium. We need a Chrome browser with the launching headless as a false. Okay. Then after that, we will as usual, we will create a, uh, if you need it means, you can create a context first from the browser, create a new context, from the context, you can create a new page, okay, context on new page, okay. After that, you need to uh, go to a URL, so how to go to the URL, um, you can go to any URL, okay. So with that, today we are going to only study about the actions types. Okay. So firstly, we will see the hover method. Uh, what is hover basically? Okay. So I want to hover the, uh, th take an example like switches. I want to hover the switch. So that means I need to find the X path or a locator for a switch to items. So this is the switch to's actual location. Okay. Switch to. This is the A tag and it has switch to text so that is enough for us so i'm copying this and control f this will open in this double slash a tag it contains the text equal to what text it contains the switch to text see this one of one so i'm going to store this in a variable page dot wait uh, wait for the wait for the selector actually it's my mistake wait for the selector in the selector I'm pasting this okay next thing is what is the method I told hover so hover is a method to keep a cursor on this web element okay here after that I'm going to wait for a couple of seconds like two seconds I will wait I'm right click running this project simply hover method is keep a cursor then what will happen this list will pop up okay see this the cursor is went to switch to and it's right down so this is the hover method okay next one is how to click already you know guys so i don't want to uh, teach anything on the click right so because click everyone knows the click method right dot click this is to click on any option okay this is hover the drop down this is click on element okay so next one is how to double click suppose in any case you want to double click or what we'll do simply you want to use a db 
dot click db click is called as a double click okay it's called as a double click okay in uh, some scenarios we will do a right click right right click and open anything so for right click we need this a click option only but inside this you want to tell button as right okay so this is how you need to click on the right click right click on element so button right okay in some one in sometimes we will use shift and click right so how how i click on the shift okay that's for that we need to use a click click modifiers in this modifiers you want to pass the shift so what will happen this will click on the shift key first then you will click that is the shift click okay this is used to shift click okay cool right this and all what mouse actions mouse actions okay so you can use anything based upon your requirement next we are going to see about the keyboard action okay right keyboard action okay so what you want to use for this now you want to use the press this option press option so in this suppose you want to click on in any alphabetic means you want to simply click on r so in this you can have a multiple like a to z Uh, number zero to nine, uh, like F one to uh, like if suppose you are using um, um, Windows, means you can do F all uh, uh, special uh, characters. What are the characters? Like uh, I will give an example. So what are special characters? Like suppose you want to click on the dollar in the number four, so you can simply put a dollar press. So uh, after that character. Uh, you can uh, like store like the arrow buttons arrow uh, right arrow uh, down so this are like up down arrow down and uh, in windows we have two options like page up page down like page uh, up page down those things and uh, shift uh, enter key uh, enter uh, control if you are using a uh, Uh, math means command so all the things you can pass in this bracket press dollar press uh, like uh, like a percentage plus at so any things you can press okay that's why called as a press so this is the keyboard actions okay so action is more uh, like kind of advanced topic okay but it's very simple one if you understand the methods that's enough for you okay so you don't need to worry so today is a small topic in tomorrow we are going to study the one of the biggest topics okay how to store multiple elements and how to do the web tables okay so i give you one small heads up what is kind of web table a uh, web table is a like if you take this as example this page as example okay mm. so this is a table it has what are thing it has it has columns and it has a rows we call it as a web table even uh, this anyone noted down uh, if, if you are taking the calendar means this also kind of web table the table it has a rows and it has a column okay so tomorrow we are going to study about the web table only so that i want to do an independent video that's why uh, i i i thought to uh, have that okay in an independent video and uh, and next thing is after this i'm planning for an uh, uh planning for a uh, uh, next series so that is two things one is apm with python and apm with robot trimmer both are like it's a cool thing only so if you guys which one is suitable you can come to my channel and vote it for your uh, series so best of all that i will select and which is i getting highest votes then i will start the next series but it takes time because we have uh, we are now only in a beginner level of uh, uh, play right so we will have a coming weeks with the projects frameworks everything once we completed this i will start with the next with the mobile 
mobile automation right now we have done a web automation we done a ap automation next after this we're going to follow mobile automations so even i was also little new for in python stuff so i am going to study so i am going with you in studies okay so thanks for joining if you like the video please like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching if you have doubts then please put me a comment and if you have any suggestions or like suggestions how i am doing the video what i want to improvise you know i am also not uh, not a, uh, a experienced person in youtube i am new to this okay thanks for